Did that work? Yes. Finally, well, first one you've ever got. I know, you're right. <clears throat> I didn't even think it would work. I couldn't. Could you hear the countdown? I couldn't even hear yeah. it. Yeah. I could see it and hear it. I could see it, but I couldn't hear it. Yeah, the music it was a beautiful, beautiful find. Anyway, Nige, how are you doing? I've been better. I've been worse, but I'm not too bad, mate. Um, more importantly, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm not doing too bad at all. I'm really Excellent. excited to get back to doing the video nasty live streams. It's unfortunately tonight it's going to be a two hour live stream, um, but it's going to be a kind of tester for just getting back in the swing of things and obviously getting back the the, the live stream, the nasties live streams in particular, because uh, we haven't done we've talked about it for ages. It's down to me for you know not being able to do it, but um, we're here now, and that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yes, boys and girls. It's his fault, not mine. So, they do ask me, you know. People do say to me, when's the next live stream? I go, don't know. Ask him. That's terrible, that. And it is me. I always, I always say it's me, though, don't I? You do. You I always own it. it me. The thing is, though, so, you've had a lot on. You've had work. You've had, I know, you've got to remember that. I'm used to it now. Um, you've had work. You've had, you, you carry on with health and stuff. So, it's understandable, really. <laughs> Aye. It, well, it is what it is, but um, the main thing is about this stream in particular, because I think since we last really talked on, about nasties, there's been a glut of 4K video nasties coming out, and I think we didn't really I'm go not... that much into it when we originally talked on the, on the previous live streams, because it wasn't a, a huge, huge thing, but now it seems like every every time you look, there's a, another 4K coming out of a nasty, and they're doing some great jobs on it. I know. Um... I was I was shocked. I think I think the last stream we did there was there was a couple maybe there was very few, and it seems to be in that short space of time this thing, um, with, with video nasties on folk, it seems to have exploded a bit like suddenly as well. Yeah, which is a great thing, great film. thing though. Right. It's great. So uh, one of the questions I wanted to ask you was. Uh, when this, when we have, uh, what we're talking about was um, before we came on was a bit to do with the fact that when we used to watch the video nasties for the very first time, you used to see the worst quality copies. You were lucky to get one that would actually be watchable, and the fact we've we spent years and years and years trying to get them in a better quality or even a watchable quality. You know, a cheap DVD was one of the best things you could get. Vipcore DVDs, yeah. which were all over the place. So the fact that they've come, I think, in my personal opinion, the fact that they've come from being so absolutely dreadful to actually to, to go into the 4K spectrum, it means a bit more to me than your other 4K. Like, say, if you got like a 4K of uh, The Exorcist, it's great, but you could always see that in a good in a good way. These mm. ones. Are the ones you could never see, but now you're getting them in, and you're seeing them in such a different light. Yeah, it's. I've heard a lot of people say that they don't like their video nasties overly scrubbed up, but I'm like, I get that, but I'm the opposite. I want to see the film where how it was meant to be seen. Um, and in the eighties, we just didn't have that opportunity. Like you say, it was either you could get. Most of them at the video shop, if you were lucky to get them, but they were only out for a limited time before they were banned anyway. Yeah. Once that happened, you were looking at a fourth, fifth, sixth generation copy, and the more copies that got done, it hurt your eyes, but you watched it because you wanted to see it. Yeah. Um, but now it's like they're basically handed to you on a plate, just about. I know. Which is a fantastic yeah, thing. There, you know. Well, it is because... Um... You know, the, these ones, and sometimes when I'm watching these nasties, when I see them on a 4K, I might not have seen them in any other shape or form from the, the bootleg copy to a 4K. It's like yeah. seeing a brand new movie. You're seeing a movie in a different way yeah. and, and giving it more credence than you would have done. Sometimes you might have thought, I couldn't stand that movie back in the day, but when you watch it now, it's like um, like a revelation, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of them, though, that I didn't get to see originally because... Um, they were they were banned basically before I even got the chance to. Um, and even on Blu-ray, some of these films look absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, you're right. 
I, I, I did a watch along not so long ago of uh, Gestapo's last orgy, and yeah. I was watching that, and like there was me and like three three of the lads I was watching that. And I watched. I went, Do you know what? I tell you what, this Blu-ray looks absolutely immaculate. It looked the picture quality was amazing on it. Yeah. So I thought, God, yeah. can you imagine that getting a four K? I don't think they would with that particular film. But it was just like, it just goes to show it's gone from like, what the hell's going on there? It looks like it's real to, wow, you could show this at the cinema. Yeah, you could. And it, it's, um, I think that you don't really realise that the likes of Zombie Flesh Eaters could look so good when you used to see it all the time as low quality. Yeah. And yeah. then the 4K make, makes you think that Full C probably had a bit of a, a vision as opposed to just let's throw a movie together and hide it at the screen. Like some of these, mm. some of the nasties are like that. They're so low budget, they're laughable. But the ones that are uh, like our gentle stuff, falsy stuff, you realize that there were such good filmmakers as well, which seems to get forgotten about. Because when you were younger, me and John Hover talked about this the other day, when you're younger, you just want go, doing anything else. But now yeah. you can see these movies as a movie with go in it. But there's sometimes uh, like. You get into the story more though, don't you? Yeah. That's more story mode for me now than go, I think. And, uh, I sometimes wonder because that's a good point. That because I have thought of that myself, and then I wonder if I wonder if that's why when I watched some of the older ones originally on VHS, and the one that stands to mind is City of the Living Dead, and even yeah. the original rental tape of that looked rough. But yeah. when you get that bit where the, the innards are coming out of the mouth, that knocked me sick and I hated the film. And it's like yeah. you're getting them bits and like I think the rest of the film, like, God, this is boring or up an end, and then that happens. I'm like, I didn't like that. But as you get older, and like you say, you start to get into the story more. When I watched it, it absolutely blew me away. I love that film now. It's strange. Yes. <clears throat> I think the Fossey movies have all grown on us. I've liked them to a certain extent. But every time I watch them, I like them more because sometimes you get a movie. I think some of these big like blockbuster movies, you would watch it, say, maybe seven times when you first see it, like Terminator 2 was on the loop for me. And I very rarely watch it, if ever, now. It's all right, but I don't feel the need to go back to it. But with, if someone said to me, let's put a nasty on, and I've seen the nasty maybe even yesterday, I'd say, yeah, all right. Yeah, watch that again. I'm there, count me in. Yeah, I'm the same. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you'll know yourself, we say this every time we're on the stream, every time we talk about movies, all we say is, I want to watch that now. Exactly. We, we mentioned it, yeah, and we go like, oh, just watch that just Aye. now. I'm just thinking the same now about City of the Living Dead, funny enough. Aye. I, I could just watch City that now, I've mentioned this. The, the 4K, but I haven't watched it yet. But now, I, you know, it's, it's, it's sort of like chomping at the bit for me to say, I want to see that, I've got to see that. I mean... I've been. I watched actually. Um, you don't. You know that I've watched a, a section three video nasty today, and it was John Hall when he brought over that stash of stuff, which is amazing. I mean, I've got I've got about another seven videos to go through. I think with uh, John right. Hall, but the um, there's one over there. I'll go and get it, and it's a section three video nasty. And when he was when he showed us it, I goes, I'm sure that's a video nasty, you know. And he says, Oh, is it? So when I look through the list, it's actually on the list section three, but it's known as a different name. But I'll go and get it quickly, and I'll show you what it is. And I'll tell you what, it's a fantastic release. You wouldn't believe what they've done to it, you know, as a sort. It's not even a throwaway movie. When I watched it, I got like a carpenter feel from it. It was that it was done that well. Wow. Yeah. I'm intrigued. So back in one second. He leaves me. I don't know what to say, y'all. I'm dying you to see what this is. I one. genuinely don't know what this is, boys and girls. I haven't got a clue. Boys and girls, are you sitting comfortably? So, uh, oh, and anyway, then we will there. begin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop that. Actually, yeah. So the one I got off John Hall, which is uh, it's an umbrella release. Never, you know, when you're looking for these folk, the um, the video nasties. And sometimes you just don't know where they are. You, you, they might be under a different name and stuff. So I've got one, a, one in my mind what it might be. Dead kids. Oh, no, it's not the one. Which is also known as um, Strange Behaviours. Yes, strange I do behavior. have the Blu-ray to that. Yeah. This is that is a 4K? From, uh, 
No, no, it's it's a Blu-ray, but it's from oh. um, Umbrella. But includes limited edition Tangerine Dream soundtrack CD. Wow. So, and the picture quality is stunning. So, have you seen this movie, Nigel? Yeah, I've got the Severin one. So, what did you think of it? I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Did you get a sort of calm divide for that? That's your CD there, CD soundtrack. Man, man's nowhere near as nice as that. Like CD and picture CD like that and soundtrack. Yeah. Wow. But I think show the front of the cover again. I think, yeah, you've got the original video nasty artwork as well. Doesn't have that on the Severin. I've oh, got it here. Um, do you think that this was justified to be on the video nasty list though? Absolutely not. No, it wasn't. I think it's the title. There, that's the one I've got. Ah, oh, yes, I, I've seen. Yes, <laughs> look at that cover. I mean, that is the scene, isn't it? Crap, in it compared not, to that one. It's not graphic, like is it? Is is that what it says? No. No. Oh, you do that's get two discs. This is how old this is. You get the Blu-ray and the DVD. Oh, really? Remember, and used to do that. So yes, yeah, oh, so that's really? the one I got, and I. It was weird because I've never ever seen this before. Have so you seen it now? From Umbrella. Yeah, I saw it today. Watched it. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoyed it? Yeah. It's but just a really good film. Kind of, like really big budget, didn't it? it, it like yes, it of, felt like it. Yeah. And I do get the carp and the vibe as well. Yeah, it is the type of thing he would do. It's it's but I honestly think that, that got roped in on the title alone. Yeah, well. I mean, you say that dead kids, you're going to go, blah, 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 that's, blah. get that. <laughs> so is that still available? I think so, yeah. It's part of this, uh, This it's called the Osploitation Classics range. Ah. It's numbered as well, so there you go. That's the, that's the kicker. Yeah, it's classed as a... Australian film, yet everybody in it's American, so it feels like you're watching a normal American film. No, when I watched it, I was waiting for anybody to be Australian, but it's not. Well, it's made no. in Australia, but it's not a um, what you couldn't put it as a you wouldn't get the Australian vibe from it, would you? No, it feels it feels like an American film and it feels like it's been shot in America. I remember when it finished, I was like, my God, I really enjoyed that. I'll tell you what you get on there. You get the sequel. You get the sequel on there as well. Dead Kids 2. What, like as a bonus? Yeah. But all, but it's a really, it's a low-budget fan-made movie from 1996. And it's really low-budget as well. It's like people with a camcorder sort of thing. But anyway, it's... Oh it's a At good, least it's, it's there. Good extra, I suppose. Yeah. So, 4Ks. Video Nasty 4Ks. Now, what I, what I did was recently... I. Did you see that when I did the top 10 4K video nasty horrors? Yes. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out a challenge to you, Nigel. I would like to, don't do it on here, but I would like to see your 4K top 10. And I just want to see what you would put in different places. Would you be able to do like You want me to do a video of it, you mean? On a video, I If you can make a video of it. Yeah, I, yeah I definitely. Because I am... Um, when I did it, obviously, so just of the ones I've gotten that I've seen, what about top 10 that I, that I like yeah, out of mind? Yeah, just the ones you can sort of speak about. Um, I mean, I know there was things like the burning, which I haven't got. I haven't definitely been in the top 10. Yeah, because are you going the, for are you looking at picture quality as in like transfer and colors and stuff as well, or the film itself? No, I'll go for picture quality. That's what I did. I mean, I loved all the ones in the top so 10. It's I how think. good they look on 4K if, if they look good. It, the best right. one gets number one. Yeah, it's, it's purely right. on picture quality, not really sound, because the sound will be okay on all of them. And that's all the three movie, sections, all. through all three sections. The whole lot. Yeah, all. I did it on the whole lot. I did. I went uh, section three or some of them, you know, because, um, you know, just uh, across the whole section, th three sections, what's your top ten? Great. So that's my right. challenge to you. Okay. No bother. Challenge accepted, and it'll probably be done this week. No matter. Yeah, not. Send us a link when you do it. I will. So, so also what I said the nice before coming here was I was thinking that um, 
for three titles for um for, for four k's that you would think in the video nasties range what would look great on 4k now they might not have to be your favorite movies they might not have to be the ones that you would like to see the most because as low as i would like to right. see the most but what would you think would be because it seems like any one of these lot unless the negatives are completely damaged like snuff for instance you'll never yeah. see on 4k so i'm go i'm thinking the ones that would look they would probably be able to get the original negatives and go back like some of these other ones have and got to these these lengths that could actually rival some of the big budget movies coming out today. The first one that springs to my mind is uh, Argento's opera. No, it's not. It's Argento's Inferno. Because there's only got opera's even on the list. Yeah. Inferno. I always get those two titles muddled up. Inferno, I think that would look amazing. It's not one of my favourite films. Um, but I've seen how good Suspiria looks, so it's got to be on a par with that, I reckon. The blue really looks really nice. It does, but it yeah. gives you the idea of what can what can get achieve. I mean, the blue rays exactly. have probably been remastered ten years ago, <clears throat> so they come on leaps and bounds. So I'm going to say, as a, as a first pick for myself, I've bought a few down here. I'm going to go. It's not it's not my favourite nasty by any means. I think it's 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 laughable to think that this the creature in it is the main star of the picture the the patient cover and he's literally not in it but i would say as a 4k because a blu-ray looks absolutely stunning i'm going to go for the slayer you know what i mean about the the demon yeah yeah you it's don't really movie. see it either until the end do you it's a good effect why didn't they put it in more I don't know because I found the creature itself quite scary. Actually, the, I mean the mouth on it—it it kind of reminded me a little bit of you know the bit in Poltergeist, yeah, where she's in a bedroom, that big white thing on legs comes out, the mouth on it—it it kind of reminded me a little bit of that. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's, um, but it's not the greatest the film. I've got to say, I, I, the film it. itself, I expected more, but I think that could do a, yeah. with a that would really do a good four K. Well, I know that I was surprised because I'd never seen this since I'd never seen this at all. I heard that the video. There he is. There's the man himself. That's him. Yeah. Isn't he so beautiful? Actually, this you're seeing more of this than you do in the film. Me holding this up for like uh, 15 seconds. Yeah. You're getting more. You should see him, and if you blink, you miss him. But unfortunately, this used to happen, didn't it? I don't know why, yeah. but they did used to do that. But it's obviously the cover probably uh, put loads of people off. But yeah, as 4Ks go, and it's a 4K remaster here, so there's no there's no um, saying that it, unless it's rights problems, they've got any problems from getting this to be a 4K easily, No, I think. I'm surprised that Opera hasn't come out yet. I don't get that at all. Why, why that isn't already a thing? Why that's not out on 4K? I don't know. You mean Inferno? That as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See? I've oh, done it. In, yeah. Because Arrow released Inferno and they've done all the other ones. It's it's mental. Apparently, it's owned by Disney now, the Fox. Oh, product. my. So God. there's your answer there. Because I'd said the same thing. I thought, well, Arrow can get it out, can't it? Did it before? But apparently, I've got a lot of, lot of comments staying. It's a Fox issue, and I thought, here we'll go. I forgot about Fox that. Game. I remember the original video yeah. tape being a CBS Fox tape. Yeah, I know. Oh, so it might never happen. So go well, to I it. think it's crossed because money talks, doesn't it? If only the well, license so, it. Yeah, this is Disney, Disney who said they're not making Arrow. anything physical anymore. It's all streaming. Yeah, they're, they're, they're slipping them back out again now. Yeah, they'll, they'll do it. I'm pretty sure they will. Because, Fingers crossed. Uh, It'd be foolish not to, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, have you got any? Have you got any picks that you would like to? That you think would look excellent on 4K? Have you got any physical in your hands, or you, do you not bring any? Um, I've got some yet. I've only got two there, but I'm not going to say Mardi Gras massacre. That's for sure. Um, as much as I love it, I can't see it making a decent 4K. Um, 
See, I didn't think about anything like this. I just got the 4Ks out ready. Um, <laughs> well, slap them out there. Look what I've found there. Well, there you go. Um, the devil. I'll tell you what I would like to see on 4K. That, Night Dream Murders. Yeah, it looks nice, doesn't it? Because this was pretty good for a, like a, an old sort of lowish budget horror film. And I think that would look really good on 4K. Because on the train, it looks nice, doesn't it? You know, the colours on the train. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah I, I get that one. I was. You see, it's funny when you see these movies after not seeing them ever. And that was the first time I saw it on 88 when they released it. And I looked and I thought, this is amazing. Actually, no, I had that. Uh, blurry that you've got there and I thought I can't believe what I'm looking at because I thought all of these would look trash from seeing them yeah. and even when you saw the Vipco one you thought oh that's as good as it can be and you and then you realised how much Vipco didn't remaster them when you said put on digitally remastered Blue, Blue Underground yeah. they always do a good job they do I you can rely on them there's a lot of companies what do you think your second one would be well, my second one would be, crazily enough, well, um, I've got some that's, that I know look good on Blu-ray. And I mean, I love all these movies here. I probably would accept any ones in the, in the um, video nasties, apart from maybe Face of the Death. I'm not really thinking I would go to the 4K for that. Would you, do you think? I like that as it is. It's a Blu-ray. They've kept it like an old cinema grimy film. So when you get to the animal bits, which thankfully aren't that bad on the grand scheme of things, they're no cannibal holocaust, but the the, the, the don't linger on it and it's no. it's basically sort of slaughterhouse footage, but it's not as graphic as like no, no. cannibal holocaust. But the fact it's dark and grimy, you don't really see it that well. And I think Faces of Death um looks good for that. It, it it's gotta yeah, have that old look. Yeah, I, I don't think they would suit the 4K. I don't know how no. much the 4K would be better because it's all stuff that they've got from news footage as well as their bits that they've yeah. cobbled together. Now, <clears throat> really enough, there's a film called Traces of Death, which I wouldn't recommend to anybody because it's horrendous. Now, Maybe tell me about that one. Cruelty, there's really, really awful animal cruelty at the start of that. And it goes really? on for 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. And if you think that it's... it's well, I'm not going to go into it, but it's the stuff that's shown on there. It's just horrendous. And you think, not that they would ever be able to remaster that because it's just bits from the like, TV stations and stuff. I don't know where they got this original footage from. Well, don't but say what they do, but what animals are affected in it? Pigs. Wow. Yeah. But it's not, it wouldn't be anything that would be done for the, for the way of creating you know, like food and stuff like that, like the, the slaughterhouse one was at the kosher meat and all that. That, that was done because it, it's already done. This was poorly done for torturing. And I just, I couldn't, couldn't, I could never, no. I watched it twice, but I could never watch that after we watched it. Me and John watched it. Couldn't watch it the second time. It was horrendous. Thankfully, they never made it onto the list. They probably weren't allowed in the country, so that, that'll do me. No, other words. No, other words. 1993, I think, came out. But yeah, no, so that's... No, so my second one would be because it looks that nice on Blu-ray and it's such a great film is Blood Feast. Oh, good call. Yes. But doesn't it look nice though? Yeah, it does. It does, I. And, I and when you consider how old that book. film is as well and how low budget, even it's the colours on the Blu-ray look absolutely gorgeous, I think. Well, actually, when I heard it was in 1963, I thought that was the bu the budget, nineteen pounds sixty three pence. Put me far off. Don't think it was that much. Hey, I tell you what, yeah. though, they were they were pretty uh, resourceful with what they used. I mean, yeah, I'm sure that when you watch the trailer, you see more of that tongue out scene than what you do in the actual film. It seems to be cut a little yeah. bit. It's like they've, they've made it for the trailer and just like put a bit of it in the film. And I know they wouldn't cut it out because, I mean, you watch the trailer anyway. Um, but uh, people will laugh like you can tell it's a mannequin leg and all that. But yeah, you can.
But if you're not looking for it, you, you probably wouldn't notice because of the gore on it and stuff as well. So they were, I thought they were really resourceful for low budget. I think they did a really good job with it. No, they did. And, uh, I mean, he set out to do a job to show the most disgusting things ever filmed at that particular time. And he, he did it, Ben, didn't he? The first yeah, ever splat. he definitely did. So John yeah. Waters beat him. Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah. Actually, on that Scarlet movie, uh, the documentary, which is brilliant, they were showing lots of things from Pink Flamingos, and they were showing a few things. I thought they're not going to show the dog thing, but they didn't mind. But uh, they showed probably everything else. They didn't show the bloke with the singing thing, you know. The sun. It you know, was it was divine, was... and the sun that that was like my jaw oh, yeah. was like, I'll stop that. Uh, I know. It's I don't know. What and the chicken. The chicken. The chicken. Yeah. I'm surprised it got it got through. I'm really surprised. Uh -huh. Well, in that Scotland documentary, they had this, uh, you know, when he gets sent in the post, he gets sent that package. Oh, there's a parcel come for you, and he opens it up, and there's a human. <laughs> I don't remember oh, that bit. I think it was, I was yeah. too scared by the um, divine and the sun and the chicken. The chicken yeah. was horrendous. Well, I think the lass in it who was who was with them, I think she didn't understand. I don't think she wasn't keen on that at all. You could tell she wasn't into it. She was like, get me off this bed. I'm you not remember? surprised. Apparently it was real. Well, it looked real enough to me. He, and he, no, I, I've he seen him in like, if you if you watch, because uh, you, you um, how can I put this? Let me have a copy, didn't you, of it? And if you watch the end of the titles, there's a documentary little yeah, about uh, John Waters. One of the last things he says is, oh, well, at least the chicken died happy. And I thought, have you just confirmed that that was real there? He doesn't uh, He doesn't pull any punches, like, does he? Just thinks The fact of the out. matter, when the scene's over, there's, there's blood on the chicken and it ain't moving. Yeah, I know. Actually, you know when this uh, this dead kids when they do the thing with the chicken where it's got to put its leg up and down. I honestly thought they were going to do something to the chicken. They didn't mean, but uh, you thought, oh, he's the it. animal cruelly. Yeah, no, they didn't. Yeah, I think I thought the it same looked, actually. Yeah, it looked a bit too slick for to put that in it. But you just with it being yeah. a nasty, you think, what is it? What's the nasty bit of it? I do remember actually when you held that cover up there. What have I done with mine? Where have I put it? <clears throat> there's um there it is i remember that being on a video cover okay. and i'm pretty sure with oh, that i'm sure that was on the cover when it was called strange behavior yeah oh was the, wasn't it's there a, isn't the one called small town massacre which used that as well is this is that the same film Probably. with another title it could have been mine because it's in a small town, isn't it? And everyone seems to die in it. I can't see any other film want to use that because you just think it was the same film. Does it say on here? And you know, I'm sure. Uh, mask. Picking that. If you want to look, in it as well. Yes. I know, and there's uh, Nurse Ratchet. She's in it. Yes, I forgot about her being in. I'm just seeing if there's anybody else famous. Somebody called Michael Murphy. The, the name sounds familiar, but I can't think of who it is. But yeah, yes, really loads good loads film, though. Loads. Enjoyed it. Yeah, he's been in loads of like really big wig uh, movies, you know, like in Hollywood. Like I, I thought, what's he doing in this? It was so like not his movie. Is that Especially Michael that Murphy? Thing. Yeah, in '81, he was like uh, that was his height. He's making I, knew, I knew I'd heard the name, but I can't think of anything else I've seen him in, but I definitely know that name. I think he's he's been in three Woody Allen films. But he was a big star. And I think he's been I think he played GFK in a, a movie and he's he's done a lot of wow. stuff. Um I just thought, what what is he doing in this? That's the thing I don't I, this doesn't even feel like a video nasty to me. No, no, it doesn't. I agree. As far as when you look at like more. 
films in general, it's it's too good to be on the list. I know we love the films and stuff, but it's just not. Yeah, it's not video nasty fodder to me. It just isn't. It's, I'm glad the I am glad polished, now they it? have though, because I never would have got to see it. I would have looked at and went, "Dead kids, no." So I'm glad they have because I I really do like the film. So they've done me a favour. Yeah, it's a good movie. Well done, well crafted, shall we say? Yeah. Mm. I'm with a cigar. So, do you, so before we go into comments, have you got another movie that you would like to think that you think would be either you would want or you would think would look good on the 4K? Um, I would like to have said, but to me, the ball's the first one up too much. I would have said Friday the 13th, part two, because part one and two are both section three. Yeah. But after the first one, no. But there is people disagree. Keith thinks the original Friday the 13th looks great. It's too dark. It is far too dark. Yeah. So think I think I'm probably going to go. Let me, let me think through section one. Because um, there's got to be stuff on there. See, Toxic Zombies are Forest of Fear, as it's called over here. I like that as it is. Yeah. I think it, the dirt and the grime right. and the, the, the crackly record yeah. sound off the projector reel, it just adds to it. And I love that film so much. I've watched it a few times. I enjoy it every time. Um, oh, God, it's hard to think when you put on the spot like that. <clears throat> Do you know another one? And while I think... <clears throat> Well, I've got a, I've got a couple here that I think would look. This this is probably the one that I want the most on on 4K as a as a video nasty 4K. The Beyond. It's it's Never just it's it's begging for a 4K. And maybe and Arrow might get the rights to do that one next. I know, I know. But even it's like talked about in the US and stuff, but it just never seems to get to the next level. But why not? Because everybody knows from now that the Fulci stuff, especially the big four Fulci movies, sell well. I mean, so this one is just a no-brainer, isn't it? Well, that's a lot of people's favourite Fulci film. Yeah, and I mean... So I can't understand problem. why they haven't done it anyway. Why would they need prompting? Just get it out. I know. Unless there's some kind of rubbish doing with the, the, the rights, as it always is. But I can't, I can't think, I mean... Somebody's got to own it somewhere, and somebody's got to be knowing that this is something that can sell. At this point, it's it's be a big seller. Yeah, it would. And this looks good, doesn't it? It's not as if it looks rubbish or anything. No, it, it looks fantastic. I think. Would you say City of the Living Dead was the lowest looking falsy one of these ones? In the nasties list, um, yeah. lowest budget, a. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. Yeah, I've always thought it looked a bit ropey. Like, I mean, the new one looks great, but this this is a stylish movie, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's very well, slow, yeah. though. But I must admit, um, s some of these special effects in it are absolutely, for its time, are absolutely amazing. They are, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Everybody, I, see, I'm, I I'm know... Even though you can see they're not real, everybody always like seems to refer to the spider scene in it, and I do get it because you know they're not real. But my God, it's it's an, it's an awful thing to watch. It's it's like spiders are my worst nightmare anyway. But when you see what they're actually doing as well, it's like Jesus. I know. It's yeah, it's 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 gruesome, pretty brutal. It really is, and they think if that happened to me, you know, it would just be unreal. The bit that always no, gets me is when the woman, the woman who slips, um, and the jar of a certain substance spills in a certain place. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that that's bad. <laughs> that is really bad. I doubt. I, I, no, that is one film. Know. I must admit that I'm surprised that's not a section one. How the hell that escaped being a section one? Yet they got axed. Axe is just well, such a really... talking about how baffling this, these sections are. Yeah. 
I mean, if you could, we could easily say, maybe on another video, say, what would we think of the, say the section uh, one has, is it 33 in there? 33, yeah. or is it? No, it's not. 39. 39. 39. We could it's say, section two that's got 33. What's the worst 39 movies? Because some of them are definitely not, Axe isn't one of them. It's a great movie. But by no means is that anything you would class as a video nasty. Two of the three of the bad ones that I've thought so far are um, bad as in like crap, not bad as, as in like, oh, you couldn't watch that, um, as in really just terrible. Snuff, yeah. <laughs> Frozen Scream, wow. And The Witch Who Came From The Sea, wow. Yet people like that film, I thought, what a pile of bilge. I've only seen it once. I do need to rewatch it. Ah. Uh -huh. I really liked that. I didn't think when I first put it on, I didn't, didn't think I was going to like it, but I really liked the fact that the woman in it, she was quite a big star and she went to play that really weird part of it. She was kind of, you know, borderline psychopath. Borderline? So, she was tapped. You could see she was. Well, she was. She, yeah, she was. I mean, she got up and no good, but I, I don't know. I, I got a lot out of it and I didn't think I would because when I first put it on, I thought, uh, I don't, don't think this is going anywhere. But, uh, no, it's I mean, one of them where I do need to give it another go, though. Yeah, but I've only watched it twice, I think. But I watched it two times in succession because I like that much. But I haven't watched it for a long time. But it's on the list. I've only seen it, it, it the once. And the once I thought, oh, yeah, yeah, that's enough. But I will have to watch it again. Give another crack one. Yeah. The one so, that springs to mind for again. me is my third one. And I would love this. Unfortunately, yeah. when I say this, you're going to know exactly what it is. It's just not possible anymore because the elements aren't there. Fight for your life. I would love that on 4K. I know. I know. That's a real shame because... It is. Unle unless uh, they can get a really good print. Maybe it's the one they use them for the DVD. And maybe it's in time if technology can sort of improve that. Maybe it's do it that way. I don't know. Because they're improving all the time. Um, yeah. They always say, don't they? never say, I mean, never, but... If there's a negative out there that nobody knows about and they come across it, there's every there chance. There could be that. Yeah, there could be that. Don't you? But yeah. uh, it's it's a hard one to sort of tell people how good that movie is yeah, by the nature it of it. But yeah. if you watch it and you you have got and you're not utterly offended by it and you you, know, you can get past that, it's just a crap movie, isn't it? Yeah, it's got so you've many got, levels. You've got to watch it and think. Look, I know stuff like this goes on. It's not based on a true story. It's a film. All the racial slurs that are coming out, the actors consented to it, obviously, or they wouldn't be in the film. You've just got yeah. to put it on, sit back, watch it, enjoy it for what it is. Um, me, personally, I would put it way up there with, like, how much I like it, I mean. With, like, the likes of Dirty Harry and Death Wish. It's, like, a more sort of brutal, that, that kind of film. For me, it's not revenge, um, but I'm on about like the the sort of level of violence and the feeling of it as well, like that 70s feeling to it. Yeah, no, it's incredible, it really is. Absolutely, and it is shocking. You know, you can't say it's not shocking, but it's it's it needs the shock to be to get deliver what it needs to deliver. If it didn't it have that element to it, it just would not be as good. And it sounds bad to say that, but it needs that language in it to make it you feel the. I mean, by the end of that movie, what you're like, you you, you kind of you're, 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 you're doing all it. You're screaming for them, aren't you? I absolutely love the grandma. She's mint. The granny, I know. She's amazing. She's yeah, it does have one of the most <clears throat> um sort of unexpected shocking scenes in it with um. It takes, it's the it's the kid in the woods, that's all I'll say. Um I was not expecting that. And no, no, no. that got that got me, that did. Um I was like, wow. Yeah. Yeah, it, it took it to a bit of a different level because uh, at first you were kind of seeing a movie that was like partic particularly um like language based, and then it went into that dark area, didn't it? And you thought, wow, that's yeah. I wasn't I was not expecting that. There was a little bit in it. I don't know whether you felt the same, John. Um, there was a little bit in it where, you know, where you laugh at something, but you know you shouldn't be laughing. But you can't help it. It's when he makes him dance. 
he goes dance and shoot at the floor. So instead of like just like doing some sort of, he starts tap dancing, and I can't help but laugh the way he does it. But then when you think it's if you were there and that was really happening, that's just not funny at all, and you feel you kind of feel guilty for laughing. And I sometimes think as well, was that deliberate? Was that like a bit of light relief for you? I don't know. I know what you're saying. I know about that scene. It though, it's um, yeah, it's like humiliation, though, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. So that's, that is. that's that's one of the things that was like, as well as the la the language, it's the humiliation factor as yeah. well, which which is why I can't see that getting released in the UK ever, because if yeah, it for just, me, it's one of the yeah. most rewatchable nasties of the lot. Well, I could, I could watch it now, no problem. Easily. Um, take it on and, and have as much fun with it. It's one of those movies, every time you watch it, you don't like it less. You like it more. And yeah. Some of these new yeah. movies we're talking about, you can say, that's all right, but I don't think I'll watch that for another 10 years. These ones you think, I want to watch that next week or tomorrow or now. Or yeah. Again. Right, we'll oh, get some. I can imagine having a full here. collection yeah. of every single one on 4K. I can't see it happening, obviously, but you never know. But do you think the likes of Save the Did Snuff and they put it out in 4K, it wouldn't be a true 4K? Would it just be a sort of maybe a little bit better than the Blu-ray? So what is the point in that? It would be a bit of a, like, false Yeah, movie? yeah, because yeah, it, that, that, that ending that was put on, on, it was, it was tacked on the end of an unfinished film anyway. And you can see the right. difference in quality at that end, that notorious end scene, which really isn't notorious when you watch it. I was like, no, and I can for the end of this, I was like, oh, God, no, here it comes. This is like the real deal. And it, I was like, are you kidding me? There was laughable, I couldn't believe it? when I was, I was like, that is what all the fuss was about. That. I was quite annoyed. Yeah. You would have to be a moron to think that that was any way. Oh, yeah. Un you un unless you yeah, think the blood looks like tomato soup. Yeah. And, and if you think and if somebody getting happen. killed will be, be dying to laugh while it's happening, you would definitely have to be a moron. No. But even that, it's it's a hard watch to watch it all the way through just for that. And you think it's well, just so slow. Yeah. yeah. The, for me to get that on 4K, it would have to have some absolutely outstanding, outstanding, brand new special features. Right. Or oh, it could might even find the original movie, put the original movie on, because we never know what happens to this, this people in it because it cut the ending off and stick that yeah. on it. Or do more about uh, the people in, in uh, the ending. Yeah. Even interview them. That's what I mean. It, it would have to be some fantastic special features that we've never seen before. Uh, um, <clears throat> if there's any deleted scenes out there that they never use, get them stuck on there, everything, then I would definitely hear it. Yeah. I mean that that's that goes to show how bad it is. It has been passed uncut but nobody's bothered to release it Very it's it's officially yeah, not bad well, anymore what, what, but... yeah <clears throat> and it it's just that the name really it's the name's probably not the most shocking thing about it the idea of it's shocking but it's just blatantly not that everybody knows it's not no. real but um the scariest thing about it is the front cover art it looks amazing on the the video nasty cover art, not not the brown yeah. paper bag one. <clears throat> We've got like the, the bloke yeah. with the axe like that, and the woman laid back and snuff with like an axe slashed through it. Nothing to do with the film. But that is the scariest yes, part of it. <clears throat> it was a good exercise in, um, you know, when somebody does something, what's it called when they do it to uh, promotion? They promoted it in a good way. Yeah, they did. Life is cheap, you know. Yeah. That trailer, though. Now when it's uncut, unrated, unexpurgated, you think, are oh, we? Can you think of any more words to add into it? Just trying to make it sound more and more. You think, God, this must be bad. Oh, it sounds It is, it sounds is really but the wrong bad. sort of bad. Yeah, just awful. So we'll get some comments up here because obviously um we be nearly over by the time I do this. So Rupert Pupkin, so looking forward to this, Rupert. Thanks for coming along, Rupert. I've got Sammy G's in his house. Hi, John Knight. Great to have you legends back for a stream uh, a stream regarding the video nasties. So what video nasty would you both love to get see the for treatment next? So what what would be your top one 
that you'd want out tomorrow? It, it would be um, fight for your life, but it seems that's at the minute it's not a possibility. Yeah. Um, I think if it was Arrow, I'm definitely going to go with. Um, I forgot to call it again. Inferno. Bye. Not. Because I think it's one of the greatest films or the greatest nasties. But for me, the more Argento on 4K, the better. Yeah. So yeah, without actually really going through go the through. list and, and looking at mm -hmm. it, put on the spot, I'm going to go for Inferno. Yeah. Well, I've already answered that. I would say The Beyond. Because I'm dying to watch this, but I know as soon as I put it on, even though I can watch it straight away afterwards, I would know there'd be a 4K around the corner. And it kind of doesn't spoil it for you, but you just think, if I knew there's not a 4K coming out for a year or so, I'd, I'd watch it tomorrow. But um, yeah, you do put it off, don't you? Say, well, I'll just hang on. Yeah. You know, and then, but it is a long later, time it? since that's had a release. It's it's long overdue. No, you're right. There's Chickster. All right, Chickster. Good evening, sir. And oh, hello, hello Sammy G. I forgot. There's Carlos. Oh, it's Carlos. There, the the you began some chat. John Nigel, as fans of the video nasty days on VHS, some movies like The Evil Dead on 4K without any grain, as an example, wouldn't feel like a video nasty. Well, we're, we're talking a bit, a bit about that because some of them you don't really want to look. Say, for instance, I think Evil Dead's good the way it is. They've left it a little bit grimy. And yes. you're saying about other ones that look a little bit grimy and they haven't taken it out of what it should be. Like the yeah. killer killer should be still grimy. Definitely. So say if they'd polished, say, say what, yeah, they could make a 4K of the Evil Dead look absolutely like it was made last week, but they would have had to take all the character out of it. So I wouldn't want that, would you? No, no, I, I totally agree with you. I want the I want the Evil Dead to look like the Evil Dead. And that's got to I'm glad to say on 4K it does. Um, I watched this not so long ago. Yeah. Um, I said that. Yes, it is a 4K. I was going to say it doesn't say 4K on there, but it is. Yeah. There, it is. Yeah. And it looks absolutely outstanding. It, um, it it's kind of exactly how you'd want it to look on 4K. So yeah, if if you ever if anybody's ever thinking of wanting the Evil Dead, but they don't want to get it because they think it's going to be too polished, no, it looks fantastic. It's really sharp, but it still does look like the video on nasty, which we all know and love. Carla says, "My meaning on how good you would guys want a four K nasty to look like." Yes, yeah, not not pristine totally. No, no, would want the Evil Dead still to look like the Evil Dead, or else that's yeah. just not. And it does, it does. It would stick like stick out like a sore thumb. If you think of other movies like The Beyond, and you, you know how good that looks and how good it can look, but it looks completely different from that. It looks like a big budget studio thing with I don't know. Yeah. You would think, understand that you want it to look a bit, a little bit, movie. yeah. Grindhousey, because they are grindhouse yeah, movies. Exactly. Think of it. Yeah, they are. So there's Andy. Evening, fellas. Evening, Andy. Oh, it's it's um, it's uh, what do they call him? It's 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 James Arthur, big handsome brute. <laughs> James Arthur. There's Keith. Hello to all. Hope everyone's doing well. Yes, doing. Keith, doing you great, beautiful, Keith. beautiful chap. Great trailer. I was just talking tonight about that trailer I've seen. God, I know. It's really well done, mate. Because I looked at twice. I know. Thought, what, what am I looking at this for? And I thought, hang on. That's... What's it called when they do that deep fake? It's a deep fake, isn't it? I don't know what it's called. It's, it's kind of like a, a, a low-budget CGI, isn't it? Because <laughs> yeah. the mouth goes as well. I, I woke up and no. I think one of them, I think it was Keith had sent me it. No explanation. Didn't say what yeah. it was. It was just a link. It's like, what the hell is this? 
and then Andy messaged me, he's going, have you seen this trailer? And when I watched it, I couldn't believe it. I was absolutely bad laughing. I think Andy looks fantastic in it. There's one bit where he looks like James Arthur, and there's another bit where he looks like somebody else famous, and I can't remember who the hell it was. But it's very clever. Whoever it was, was it um, movie? The movie, movie book or Blu-ray? Blu-ray. There's that many names. Somebody the Blu-ray something. <laughs> I can't remember. I know who it was. Can't remember the thing offhand. Yeah. But yeah, it was very impressive. It is. Uh, so Carla says, good to see you, John, back on the live stream. Yes. Um, I was thinking the last live stream I did was November, you know. Can you believe that? Jesus. I do. I'll tell you what I want to do. And it's, I've been talking about this behind the scenes. I'm about the um, your Friday nights. I'm either working on a Friday or working over on a Friday or working on the Saturday because I'm desperate yeah. to get on Scott's screen, you know, because it's, it's, it's just so much fun to watch. And uh, I just <laughs> I just want to get on there. And I've been saying to Scott, I said, as soon as I can, and the, the shifts work out, I said, I'll be on there. No bother, because it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great stream to be on. And uh, he's asked us loads of times, and I've just said, as soon as I can, I will. But yeah, thanks, Carlos. Oh, we've, we've nearly killed each other. Like, uh, we're laughing. Like, yeah. uh, I was worried about Keith one night when I, I won't say what I come out with. Um, and he went off screen, and all you hear him in the background is going like, <laughs> then it went quiet. And I was like, Keith, will you say something if you're alive, please? <laughs> it's, and we were all going, Is he all right? You come back. Well, yeah, I'm here. But they, they've had me as well, the pair of him and Andy. Jesus. No, it's it's great. And every time I turn it on, you're always like killing yourselves laughing. You know? Oh man, yeah, it's it's, what it's all about though. You, we well, people is. go like, oh, you need to do this, but no, we do what we want to do to please us. And if everybody else likes it, it's a bonus. We we have to enjoy it as well. I know. It's all about having fun, isn't it? At the end of the yeah. day, you want to talk. Oh, about we have, we do have plenty of like, that. Yeah, I totally agree. Here's our good friend Michael Hewitt. Oh, Hewitt. Michael, you big handsome devil. He is, mind. He is. Good. He's a good lad, Michael. He is. Very generous He's as well. AP. He is. He really is. Movie Cheer Podcast, AP. Evening, gents. Hope you're both good. Yes, we are. At Paul you Mahon. said me, it. Good evening, legends. Good Here evening, sir. Thank you very much. Sammy G in his house. If the house by the cemetery is included in the hour sale, I might have to pick that one up. I don't want to pick up madhouse i do want to pick up madhouse and eating alive you like madhouse don't you i was a bit on the fence uh, yeah i need to take a second watch of it i was just gonna say to sam there um madhouse for me is very underrated um you're better off watching that one without knowing anything about it thankfully yeah. It doesn't on the only the only other occasion I can say this. It doesn't have the original video nasty artwork on there at all, and I'm glad because it's a huge spoiler. So try not to look at it. You can you can get the Blu-ray. And it's it's got no spoiler artwork, so you're all right with it. It's definitely worth getting. I think though, yeah, it's very I'll very tame though. Oh, it is. It is. There's David Merrick, even the legends, even Dan. Sorry, Daniel. Was it David? I know. It's my eyes, man. I keep telling you. I, it's just a big blur, this, you know. Get your gigs on, man. I've told screen. you before. You won't listen. I know, but when I put them on, when I take them off, I'm even more blinder. There you go. Is that all right? That's better. Yeah. Can you read better now? I what can, but I don't look like I'm cooling in with the kids, so I'm going to take them back off. Right. Well, I, yes, I'll see you there, Nige. Looking good. <laughs> oh. Oh, do you want your cigar now? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Christ. So, Sammy G, I thought the 4K transfer for Mike Mears and Damaged Brain was decent transfer. I'm still yet to watch a documentary, Damaged, which is included on both. A bonus disc, yeah. Damage is that a was, great uh, documentary. I really enjoyed it. I want to watch that one. I hear loads of good. I, I know what it's about, but uh, I do want to watch it because it's. Uh, I'm glad they've included that because that is a real talking point of that movie, isn't it? I got the American one. Ah, yes, because you got it. That's the extra 
disc, isn't it? You get the four short films that he made. I've watched two of them. Um, I mean, they're nothing special, but you know what? I was sat watching them. I was entertained. I enjoyed them for what they were to the point where, yeah, I could watch them again. They're only like 50, 55 minutes each. So I've watched two of them. There's another two to watch, but I haven't actually watched the film on 4K yet. I did see Trevor's review. Um, you know, Double Will Movies, Trev. He did um, and I, on, didn't he? And, and yeah, and he, he did yeah. what you did. Put screen shots of the, the, the Blu-ray and the 4K type of thing. Um, and it is a it is a difference. Like it does look a lot better. Yeah, I think it's. I think it really does. I mean, it's. It's not the nicest of looking Blu-rays, but 4Ks. But I wouldn't want it to because it is ultra grindhouse. Yeah, and it retains that, and I'm. I'm happy about that. But it's a really. I get, every time I watch that, I get some effort else out of it. I don't think it's a yeah. throwaway nasty at all. A lot going on. I mean, um. Oh, what was I going to say there about it? Oh, it does say that it's the most uncut version to date. And I was like, ooh. But then I've heard some people say that they don't think it's any different to the UK Blu-ray. So I don't know. No. I uh, honestly say that the UK Blu-ray, the 88 one, is exactly the same as that. And I really scoured that movie because I was really looking for the... I didn't think it would be lots. But I thought it'd be bits and pieces or little yeah, I did. nuances. Not nothing. So I do think that the, the kind of saying it's the fullest version, and it's fuller than the previous code red one to a certain extent. But it's nothing new that we haven't seen. I was waiting for that. A bit of a letdown. Yeah, I was. Yeah. But to be honest, that was one of the big selling points. I mean, I, yeah. I probably would have got it anyway, because I do really like the film. Um, right. but I was waiting, I was I was thinking like I can't wait to see what extra is because I thought that was the fully uncut version. I thought we got extra, get extra five ten minutes. But like you say, there's people have said it, you included. Um, can't see any difference. Yeah, unfortunately, like, I know it, it's um, it's a little bit naughty what they've done because I think they've kind of said it's not a lie, but it's, but it's kind of, of false advertising the way they've done it. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, I think it's a great set. I really do. We've got but yeah, four. I was going to say I think it's it's worth getting this though as well for the extras. Oh, um, the extras are amazing. I know it's got a lot more extras on that. I have left it on there, but I'm pretty sure with it, even the American one. Yes, it does. I want to swap it now before I forget. It does have the uh, the video nasty artwork on. That was the first thing I did. I like the other one, but that one's. So I'll go back. Yeah. Stephen Turnbull was there. Hiya, Stephen. You all right, mate? Lad from oh, uh, more Shields is from the corner. Evening, chaps. Oh, wow. Hopefully, I'll be seeing Stephen soon, actually. And Paul. If I can get it up. Good evening, John and Nige. Hello, Paul, mate. Hope you're well. Mac Chats. How do, chaps? That's better. Hey, chats. Hello, Mr. Chats. That's loads yeah, better. Good, isn't it? Yeah, great, isn't it? Got Del Boy. Good evening, fellas. Hope you have a great time tonight. Well, yes. Well, good evening, time. mate. Hope things are well. No Gary Darnell. I never got to see any video nasties when I was a kid. I just heard and read about them. So now I'm making up for the last last time and collecting as much as I can in case they get banned again. Do you think? <clears throat> do you think they'll ever get banned again? No, I, no. I don't actually. No. I can't since, see anything getting banned, like retrospectively now. <clears throat> since James Furman, I'm not even going to say he retired because he, he didn't retire. He jumped before he was pushed. Um, Because he was, it, they were cutting these horror films left, right and centre. And believe it or not, when it got into the 90s, it got worse. They were cutting did, things out, like if you've seen a knife or if you've seen a gun... But that they were getting more and more. The best way that I can use it is the what the way that they've used on the video nasty second one, draconian. It, it, it is that's what they were yeah. doing. And then what does he do? He goes and makes porn legal. That was his downfall. Yeah, that was that was and they took out headbutts as well. There was a few headbutts in the Batman movies that got took out, and you went, What? You know, it's like, like um, 
we're talking like that's all we don't know what that is it. and we've never seen it before and then so as soon as he went we would copy it of course we would the new guy come in then what what do you know there's the texas chainsaw massacre on the cinema uh, there's the exorcist coming out on video and dvd and stuff it was the, the floodgates opened yeah. so it just goes to show how much pull he had over it all oh right. yeah if he hadn't been around it would have been a totally different landscape and this, is what, this is this is what he gets for listen to that silly old bag with the video nasties do your video nasties <laughs> what? Mary White House. I'm saying, do you Mary White House? We must ban those video nasties. It's true. She oh, says that, though, didn't she? Video nasty. I've been seeing one of them went up there. Hey, I was watching. I was watching a bit of it before, you know. And she's hey, she's an idiot, idiot. This is in front of a live studio audience. And when your kids come home from school and you're sat there watching your telly and you're having your beans and your chips. Having your beans and your chips. We're on about films here. Uh -huh. Not welfare tea. You're having your beans and your chips. So a kid's just going to sit there with a plate of beans and chips and nothing else. You have chips and beans with you. With your beans and your chips. Get out. <laughs> Silly old biff. She wanted to burn uh, Tom and Jerry, didn't she? She was, oh, no, she, she probably did because they're never on the telly anymore. No, the originals, she wanted to get rid of them because they were um too violent. It wasn't for the fact of the maid because I know that that upset a lot of people, went on, upset a lot of people, but it was frowned upon and got taken out. The maid's voice, but they were saying it was that over the top that people would copy it. How can you copy the stuff from Tom and Jerry? Getting them up on an after a mouse going. <laughs> Maybe. Aye. You're going very blocky and breaky up now. Oh, yeah. No, you are. Oh, I, I am. Do you think? Now you're all right again. Then, then you sort of like do your robotics right. again. Then it goes all right again. Anyway. Well, uh, I'm on. Well, I'm on me. Uh, me what's it seems to be all right. Me internet. Maybe it's just. Actually, I think it's raining outside. You know, I think that might have something to do with it. So Mac Chat oh. says, I never knew how to cut. I never knew how cut a lot of these nasties were until I started to buy the Vipco sell through titles in the 1990s. And the City of the Living Dead vomit scene was gutted. Puns go on then. Yeah, it's ah. Vipco were um they were they were good for what they did, but the stuff they put out was really cut. They didn't care if they didn't go looking for bits other bits, did they? They'd get something to just hire it out. I never bought a single one of those DVDs for that reason. I knew they were going to be cut. And I was always curious if City of the Living Dead, if that seemed what um, what he's on about, was ever cut, and it yeah. clearly was. I think they cut. Well, they, did, they didn't cut it. They would just get a print of it and put it on DVD and put it out or a VHS. They didn't think I think, I think a lot of them were, were, yeah, VHS to DVD copies. I, I, funny enough, I watched a, a documentary on YouTube, and it was only uh, last week, about the guy who owned Vipco. Yeah. Very, very sad story. Um, if I, I can, if I can find the, it, I'll send you the on, link. I think that's on the Blu-ray of, um, is it Hell Night? No, it's not. Spookies. I think that's an extra on the Spookies. I know it's after seeing the actual. Oh, is it? The thing, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there is spookies. a Vipco one on Spookies. They got Spookies. I've got the Spookies Blu ray, the 101 one. 101 yeah. one. 101 one. Oh, if it's on there, excellent, because I can watch it again. I mean, I remember seeing him on uh, a video nasty thing before. Um, but when you see him now, he's like a shell of his former self he something happened really bad in his personal life i mean it tells you on there but i won't spoil it for you oh it's, it's heartbreaking oh. oh i never knew oh never it's, knew it's absolutely heartbreaking what a shame he, he he made a hell of a lot of money out of doing these films and stuff and apparently he's, he's almost penniless now as well he's just lost interest in everything when this thing happened yeah it's a shame like there was a lot of people affected by it 
no doubt. You know, it's not as if she was just saying, oh, I don't want that video to come out. It affected a lot of livelihoods for companies. Yeah. Some companies would not survive that at all. In fact, a lot of them just went by the by. They never got into yeah. the DVD front. Vipco did, maybe in a couple of other ones, but most of them just went. Then that. Did you so did you ever hear that one called oh. is it was it Deran video? Yeah. Duran. It was like a sort of a, a welfare Duran Duran Duran, yeah. That name I was thinking, I wanted to come up with that, yeah. The people who owned it was man and wife. One was called Derek and one was called Anne. That's how they got the name. Duran. How original. <laughs> hey, it would work. It, well, it did, because I thought it was quite clever. I thought, are you Duran Duran fans by any chance there? So John Ronnie's Boneyard Pictures says, love the acoustic guitar track on the on the from the um T D Dream. Oh. You know, great soundtrack plus the dance scene at the part the party, the dance. Do you remember the party on Dead Kids when they have them that dance? Oh the party, hang on. Wasn't the song um, Lightning Strikes Again? <laughs> well, I like that wasn't it. That was it. Yeah, the, the and you know what's his name who was in superman 3 actually the young lad was he called jimmy olsen and he starts doing that dance like a sort of sort of daft uh, dance. don't watch that cat, superman, superman. Uh, he was in superman 3 but anyway, i've never seen you know, that bilge him? good film actually it's funny got a good comedy so Carla says, would you guys still purchase a 4K video nasty if it's totally cut and the only version around? Um, John would. I wouldn't because John already has. Well, I had to, didn't I? Because it was part of the no. range. No. You could, didn't have to get the 4K. You could have got the blue ring. He's, he bought Cannibal Holocaust. No, it was cut. No, thank you. Yeah, but it has got the worst bit cut out for me. So it's not really. And I have got the uncut one somewhere. What's your worst one? bit? The bit that was cut out, the um the is it the muskrat set? thing? Muskrat. Now yeah, I've heard know. I've heard um a lot of people on the internet argue about what that animal is. I've heard it's a muskrat, I've heard it was a summer else, and I've heard it summer else. You listen in the film, I we, we did a watch along of it. I picked it, I put them through it, bless them. Um he actually says muskrat. He says the word muskrat, if you listen. Muskrat, okay. Actually, I've got to say, God I bless him. Scott, you know, Scott's face when he did that video on Instagram after it, I thought, I didn't even know what he watched, and I thought, I bet he's watched something like Cannibal Holocaust, and come up yes. and went, he looked like he's, he looked like he was a different person. The bit that got him was the same bit that got me, the turtle. Well, he, the actually, he actually got yeah. upset while we were watching it. And I had so, and people watching along with it as well will get the comments. And I was I couldn't help myself. I'm going, is everybody all right? The hell let us know how you're hanging in all right and stuff, because it's it's not a nice experience. It's not no no at all. I think I don't know if uh, Scott's ever been like put in anything like that before. I think he's seen it, he has seen it before. Um really? yeah, it's just that he he forgot how bad it was because he was watching his own Blu-ray of it. Right. It's that turtle scene, it goes on far too long. It does, it doesn't need to it doesn't need to be in. They could maybe say they were gonna do it. They don't have to show it. No. no. They don't have to show any of the animal deaths, but they did. Watch the animal cruelty free version, it's so much easier on the stomach. It is, and it's so good because it looks like it wasn't even in there. I don't know how they got that yeah. to be. It's seamless, isn't brilliant. it? Brilliant. Yeah, so brilliant with the brilliant. Own dead kids on VHS. It was called the Small Town Massacre. You said that. There you it? go. That's the other title. I yeah. said that. it's that mask. I recognise this. Yeah. So there's Brian. Hi, John. Uh, all right, Brian. Miss Stewart. All right, Brian. He's um, he has actually commented on a couple of my videos lately. Bless him. Yeah, he's a good lad, Brian. I've uh, I've talked him on a uh, on a live stream before, and he's uh, he's such a funny guy. He really is. From Birmingham, and he's uh, but he's got a good sense of humour. When he started coming on my stuff, I recognised him straight away because he was always on our our nasty ones. He yeah. always commented. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So I remembered yeah. him straight away. 
So 80s Geek said Vipco with the transfer quality from VHS to DVD is poor. Yes, absolutely. It was just like watching a VHS. You may as well just... Oh, well, yes, that's an understatement, yeah. Yeah. Brian says, I've got dead kids on DVD. Enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a really, really good, enjoyable film. Yeah. When John showed it, I thought, I'm sure. I just recognise the title. I said, I'm sure that's a real nasty. I really. You know, when you just think, because I, yeah. I wouldn't care, I've been this recently. Because I think I've got, how many do you think you need to get to get the full lot? I mean, titles. Oh, man. Got an idea? Because I've written down what I need. I would, have anyway. to, I would have to count because I know there's only one section one I need and there's either three or four section two it's section three I'm not sure about I need 20 23 in total and I've got the whole lot 23 and the most of them are section three most of the ones I need are yeah but I need that werewolf and yeti to come out yeah it's quite a good film, but I tell you what, if you're waiting for the Yeti, you may be waiting all night for it because it, it's like blink and you'll miss it. Is is no. even, <laughs> even cover that one? It's a good movie, but the Yeti thing, I think maybe there's a bloke behind the tree going, "That's your Yeti." You may say, "Look over there, there's when, a Yeti." And then, when I heard the title oh. though, originally, the werewolf and the Yeti, I found that funny. It probably would have done better if they'd have took Yeti out. Because whoever yeah. would put a werewolf and a yeti together, it's just it's mental. Well, he, he goes up in the Himalayas, you see, to look for a yeti. But unfortunately, because he just gets, I don't know how he turns up in this like like sort of group to go and look for a yeti. He's just there. And he's he's obviously been a werewolf in 13 movies or something. So he's doing that. And then all of a sudden he becomes like werewolf and all that. But I don't think they ever even, even find the yeti. So, so yeah, it's not it's but it's a good movie. It's it but it's quite low quality. I don't think I get a four K of that one. Think I was that. just gonna say, well, there you go then. If I if I can't have um if I feel like I'll have the wealth and the yet is the one I would like to see out next. Yeah. It I, looking at it though, I think they couldn't it's one of the ones where you see it and you think, I don't think they get a four K off that if that's what the Blu-ray looks like. It's all right. But it's not half as good as some of them, you know. I'll stick with Inferno then. I've got more, um, more chance of that one coming out. I think. So I've got. Um, I'll go through a few more, and then we'll get back to a bit chitty chat. Say, Robson, even guys, I'd right, say. Andy's cardboard Star Wars, forty-five. Watch and hit the like button. Hey, up, lads! Wow, both have great channels and have a great laugh watching. Well. Oh, thank uh, you very much, sir. Yeah, it's it's a it's it's. I think it's uh, the the worst thing about not doing the live streams for the fact I couldn't get to do them was not doing the live streams. If that sounds, you know, if you understand what I'm saying, because um, yeah, it's always been something I really enjoyed. I know roll going on and then just things happen. But anyway, I'm hoping touch wood. I don't want to say too much that uh, we can be back to regular. On this, I know Nigel's up for it, and we're both up for it, but it's yeah, logistics. But um, if I win the lottery, we'll do them every night. We'll definitely, get, we will definitely at some point get section two and section three done. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, though, Nigel, on a side note, I'm really enjoying if you don't know about it, do go to Nigel's channel and have a look at his when he when you go through your section when you do with your full videos and you talk about oh, yeah. them. Because what I like about them is. You, you take your time with them. You're not rushing. You'll go through, and to be honest, you, you explain them much better than I do. And you talk uh, at length, and they're, they're a good hour long, but they're an hour long, they're a good hour watch. You don't think at any point you think this should have been shorter. In fact, I would like to be longer, if I, if I can say that. But um, Oh, wow. No, so Thank if you, you very much. Go, no, no, go across and have a look at them, because I think they're really entertaining. Oh, and thank good, you. They're a good... Um, it's like a sort it's like this but like a deep dive with one person talking about it on there and your particular views and that, uh, yeah i try i try and have. add the ones that i don't have as well i'll if, if i don't have them but i've seen them i'll i'll mention them all right well that's it you were you were saying there's a few that you're stuck with that's my son there um he's called shut the door 
for you, yeah. <laughs> but you, 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 you'll, you'll talk about the ones because I think when I did my... I see that one. See then. Uh, you know these ones that you have? Um, I had the full lot for the Section 1 ones, and I think I've got the, the first lot for the ones I was going to do in Section 2 because I... I tend to do them in a slightly different way because I talk about like if you can get your hands on them, or are, are these going to like rip, yeah. not rip you off, but rip your eyes out of the socket to actually buy yeah. them? And sometimes you may be surprised at what you can get, or you can get them from all over the place, or the ultra rare. I like that personally. That's what I like doing, but I like your sort of kind of casual chat about them. I think. Oh, cheers, John. Thank you very much. I feel all. Warmed and humble. I'll get that fun tenor off here after the stream. <laughs> after that, it's going to be 20. <laughs> right, I'll go through a couple more, then we'll go back to air. Uh, yeah, excellent stuff. Right. So Dean Crichton says, I just ordered 88 films. Guess that was last orgy. Well, speaking Good. of that, Good call. The last one I was going to talk about was, was going to be that, because... As Nigel talked about it before, this film looks, I mean, it's not, I wouldn't say, now, this is a funny one, because if they said to me, you can get a 4K of it, I might go for it, but I might not, because I like this, I appreciate this movie, but there's a couple of bits in it that I just don't care for. You know, the dinner scene, I just don't like it. It's, it's the way that they the, just the, go on. The good thing about it, though, is you don't really see anything. It's all left your imagination yeah but it's just i mean yes just, you see them eat in their dinner but it's obviously not what it's supposed to be but the yes. thoughts there and i think that's that's good the way it makes you think like that i know but it, it, i mean it's a solid re release this is a beautiful edition totally uncut as well i don't think this would have got passed in in the uk for the dinner scene especially because and it's it's the relentless on the sort of um you know when it gets into the the girl in the, the camp it's just yeah. non-stop is it but yeah you do feel so the, sorry for it the, the dinner scene for me is the fact that they, uh, they all look like i mean i know they're acting when they're eating that stuff they all look like they really enjoy it i think myself, there's the odd one at the table you do see like you can see um but i tell you what the last sat we we that was another one of mine i put that i made them sit through I picked that for one of our watch alongs. Um and everybody seemed to actually enjoy it. It's a, it is a really good film and it's a very well made film. It doesn't That's look made, low budget like the rest of them. It looks like a, a big studio has made it. Yeah, when, um, when I put I, it on. It's, uh, it's far better I than this. I mean it's very low it budget. I like that one. It's I an experiment. That one, more than this, that one. Oh god, could you really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean that is blatantly low, low budget. Yeah, it really is like uh <laughs> really low budget. And um actually 80s Geek says on here, traces of death is terrible and in pick quality and shocking. Yeah, it, it's picture quality. And I'll tell you what they do, not so much on traces of death, but on traces of death two and three. They've got I mean, on traces of death is like a bloke when he talks like somebody who's like nearly like singing death metal. In the death death metal soundtrack, and he's wow. going, "Have you ever wondered?" And you're going, "Oh my god!" What do you say at the start of it? Have you ever wondered what it what it looks like to see a leg splayed and filleted? Well, now we know. And it's got like a picture of this like leg split completely in half like that with the bones and all that. And it's just that all the way through. But on the two and three, I think all it is is just death metal music. And you think uh, it puts you. No, that would get on my wig anyway. No, it's 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 not a good watch. You wouldn't you wouldn't like it. You've never watched it twice, but that way. Ah, Stephen Moore says opera is out in 4K in Germany. I don't like German releases. I don't trust them. Do you think sometimes a 4K could be a bit squiffy? I had I've only ever bought the one, and I got um, that lovely box set that you got the orange box set of uh, Rollerball. Rollerball, <coughs> and it got so far through it went totally out of sync. They had to send me replacement discs. I said, oh, my box turned up damaged as well. You've got what well, we don't have any of them left. Um, and even Keith, so I was starting to say, a couple of these, he's had a, a quite dodgy as well. And it gets on my nerves, like, you've got to 
prat about and guess where to turn the the the, the language and stuff over is because I don't speak German, unfortunately. But because it's got all foreign language and that dirty, great big blue thing on it, sometimes I think they look like bootlegs. I just don't like them. Having said that, people have sent me some stuff and I've watched them and they've, they've, they've been pretty normal. It's, it's that changing over. Um, But yeah, I, I personally, after that, I wouldn't buy any more. If they don't come out in the UK or the US, I'm now sort of stretching to Australia, I think. Um, then I, will, I wouldn't bother. Yeah, that's really got some uh, crap and stuff in it. Um, right, we'll have a couple more comments if that would though. Because um, obviously, we'll not be able to get through all the comments tonight. Now, what we're thinking of is if, if you, if you, have like you read this, that? This one, Mac Chats, Forest of Fear needs a decent upgrade. I have the va massacre video release, and the print looks like someone is, was cleaning us with it. But the HDA transfer is nice. Yeah, sometimes you get these ones. I was watching a one that John Hall, I was looking through it, and there was one which I'll not go into, but you'll see it. I'll talk about when I when I show it. Beautiful looking edition. But the, the picture quality on it, it's a it's a really low budget movie. It's a low budget classic. And it's a, it's Australian release. But it's it's literally scratched to bits. But it's a oh. nice, it's a nice Blu-ray, it's got nice um colour in it. But it looks like they have done nothing to tidy it up whatsoever. Nuts. But sometimes See, I, 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 I like, like ones, Forest of Fear like, as it is. Uh, yeah, I do. It adds to it. And it is a 4K scan, believe it or not. It is. You're right. And it's much better than the Blu-rays. The Blu uh, sorry, the DVD is okay. I think DVD is a slightly different cut, you know. It's got a, it's, oh, it. I think the end is in different, in different order. It definitely ends differently. It's not extra footage, but it's like changed around a little bit. I, I don't even ah, that. that rings a bell. I'm sure they did change the end at some point. I think that I think on the Blu-ray they did say it's got the complete ending or something. I do yeah. vaguely the end with a cop like in a cop's office. There's a cop's office ending. There's also the bloke in the jeep, and I think that on the DVD the cop's office ending is further on in the film. And it ends in the Jeep. But I think on right. the, the Blu-ray, you get the Jeep and then you get the cop's office. Yeah. Ending. But the quality goes right down. But on the DVD, the quality is the same. What's all that? I'm weird. <clears throat> so, like I say, what we'll do is, at the moment, um, we have got... I'm going to put some comments up on the screen as we, as we talk, because we're getting towards the sort of last half hour of this. But what I was going to say was... Um, this seems like we can do more on this subject instead of just absolutely. This to our screen. So, yeah, definitely. Are you up for coming back and doing a kind of part two of this before we get Bye. back into the God. Do you need, do you need yeah. to ask? Of course, I am. Well, I just thought I'd ask, you know, I don't want to, I don't, yeah, don't need to ask know. when it comes to stuff like this. I always assume, <laughs> always assume, yeah. always assume you what, Go always ahead, assume. Right? Yes. So, um, right, I'll do a few more. Uh, Michael Murphy plays the dad in Shocker by Wes Craven. I didn't know that. Uh, see, I've only ever seen movie. that once, and it was years ago. I always fancied the, yeah. the um, Screen Factory Blu-ray, that, with the slip, but it's getting yeah. older. I saw it years ago as well. I really enjoyed it, but I haven't seen I it. I did. I can't before. understand why. I've never bought it on VHS or nothing. Weird. I rented it out. Um, no, it's been a long time. Um, MB22, always a pleasure to see you on live, John. Oh, I will never for forgive you for recommending Ebola syndrome. Thanks. Yeah, I've never seen Ebola that. syndrome. Have you seen never it? Never seen it. No. I'll tell you what. It's, um, there's a lot of bodily stuff in that. And to be honest, you know, and I, I knew it was a Section 3. I knew it had, it had struggled. It couldn't get released in the UK. It's one of those ones in the Furman area where he was just was not letting any of those story of Ricky and all these extreme uh, Asian movies getting in. Now, that one was always talking about. Me and John Hall got it. Like, early I got it from my mates who was used to uh, get them for it. And when I put it on, I mean, even the first scene, what the bloke's doing, it's got nothing to do with Ebola, but I'm going, what? So, yeah, 
It's a shocker. That's not no, on a Section 3 it. nasty, is it? No, it's a Section 3 um, movie from from Asia, from China. Oh, had these see, I don't understand where all that. Well, you know, what they would do is, say, like, for instance, we have 18s, and say maybe yeah. we didn't ever get to the double X, you got triple X, but say if you had one that was just a little bit too much, they might have had, like, in 18 plus, for instance, say like that. So in China, they have like, you know, the age restrictions, but they have, when they have ones that are like full of other stuff in it, they call them section threes, category threes, sorry. Cat three. Right. So right. movie like that is like extreme to the, and then some of the stuff they've got in there. No wonder they couldn't get over here. They, they were just like, the touch on subjects that were like really bad. But wow. Really good. And now they're coming out on cut yeah. over here. Oh, I order them up, but these are the big boys. I mean, Ebola syndrome, um, Bun Man, Story of Ricky, and um, Erotic Ghost Story. They're just coming out. You're going, I can't believe this. It's so erotic ghosts. Erotic, erotic ghost story is so good. I love ghosts, like like sort of a Chinese vampire ghost in the woods. I just love that aspect of it, and this movie's full of them, amongst other things, of course. Uh huh. So there's a lot of comments here, a lot of comments here. And uh, I've got to thank everybody for um, for joining, Richard Bowsen. Evening, lads. Good evening, sir. And, uh, Danny Jukes. All right, Danny. Hello, Danny, Danny Mace. Mace. And it's it's going to be, it's you know, um, G4362. Hi, nice to see you guys again. Just seen that Thank shameless are releasing Killer Killer Nun. Either you seen it? Yep. It's not I great. Haven't, no. Well, I've got I've got one for you. Remember? Yeah. So shameless are releasing it. What? I thought they already had released it. It'd be it's it's a um, Blu-ray. The, D, oh. the DVD is good enough, but yeah, the the Blu-ray is there. Wow. So it, I don't know. I it just it's all right. Don't get us wrong, but it's not really what I would consider to be the one that I would like. I watched it once, and I just thought mm, it's all right. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm a fan of those non exploitation movies. Saying that though, the Nun and the Devil, which isn't a nasty, that's a great movie. But that's I've more, never seen a single one worse. of them. It's worse than more far worse than the Killer Nun. That's for sure. Thomas Pearson, The Flea Pit. Hi, lads. Good to see you again. And you are both feeling a bit better. Well, well thank you very much, sir. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So good. Fred Frog. Hi, Fred all. Frog. Hi, Fred. Good evening, Fred Frog. There's Greg Bummer's movies. All right, Bummer. How are you diddling, mate? He's got some cracking uh, vinegar syndrome stuff. He has his stuff. It's just absolutely not just sick, doesn't it? it? It does. It's you, you look look at them. You think I would have all of them immediately? That's when you know you watch a good video when you you want all yeah. the, the stuff on it. So Fred Frog says, "What is the best way to buy a last house on the left?" We well, go to the estate agents. It's just down the road. <laughs> Um, uh, for me, I would say the Arrow box set version. Yeah, I don't think it. If they've got the 4K, I'll, I'll probably go for it. But I, I think a 4K I I would look. It. Yeah, look it, I think we're looking at it now. Colourful. You get a nice out. It's it's a proper hard card box as well. With some the new artwork's nice. Um, you get a poster. I think it's a double-sided poster with the new artwork and the original US artwork. Um, and you get the reversible sleeve. It's got some, it's got a ton of extras on as well. It's got the it's got the cut of it when it was called Krug and Co. Which is basically yeah. last time I was on the left, but it's cut. Some of the some of the gauze cut. Uh, and yeah. interviews and all sorts of stuff. And the, the picture quality is actually really good for what it is. I mean, I think last time I was on the left is probably one of the most 
lowest famous, lowest budget ones out there. There was Skint, it was the first film, Wes Craven's first film, and he had Sean Cunningham on board with him. Um, but that yeah. is definitely the way. If you can get the box set, get the box set. It's a lovely box set. It really is. Yeah. George Condy. George is here. I like your videos. I think that must be, I think that must be to you because I don't know that Good chap. see you both in the stream again. Ah, Mr. Antics, you've popped up again. Nice to see you, mate. He's a big David Lynch fan. Actually, there's six, there's sixty-eight people watching this. I know he is. Uh, he's he's uh, absolutely. You know, I've just said sixty-seven now. It, well, it That's was, you, that. Home, yeah, because you. Oh, is that right? Leave. I know. Oh, it's sixty-six. Come on, you know, are we? Yeah. <laughs> that look, you big gob. You're going to talk me this know. afterwards. <laughs> I should say there's one watching and then they could put one on. Yes. Um, this is an actually a good one. It's, I know it's a, a video nasty, but uh, we need Squirm and Vampires. Now, Squirm, that's a great movie, but it got Never seen by it. Arrow, but it's, it's kind of um, out of print now, massively out of print. Great movie. Great little. Never um, seen it. I've heard good things about it, though. No, it's, it's well worth a watch. Well worth a watch. And the, uh, the, the Blu-ray from from '88, whatever reason it, it, it got uh, out of print, probably rights. It's it's really nice, but it's stupid money now. I wouldn't pay stupid money for it, but it's a it's a no. great. Yeah. Is Vampires supposed to be with an I, and it's the John Carpenter one, or is the one with a Y in it? I think that I would say that's a John Carpenter one. That. Um, I'm surprised that all the John Carpenter's haven't been put out in 4K because it doesn't look nice. You know, it's he's Vampires probably the best. would make a great 4K because the, the Blu ray looks nice. I haven't seen it. You've never seen the it. film? No. I've got it. Oh, man, you'd it. love it. You'd love it. I've got to watch it. Oh, yes. I've been told it's meant to be one of the best. James Woods is amazing in it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it's James got, Woods. I think it's great. It's got touches of. Um, from dusk till dawn is um the soundtrack is amazing it's like i thought it was right coda but it's not it was like all like slide guitar and stuff it's just fantastic yeah. everything about it no definitely um so andy Carbone star wars says 66 watching there's only 65 now <sighs> Um, slap that button, slap that like button, boys. We'll give it a damn good slapping. Slap a mouth back. I think that's um, this has been this has been great. You know, sometimes when you, you come back to a live stream and you think, is the audience still around? Well, it, it is. So, um, yeah, more than uh, pleased with everything that's that's gone on tonight. And uh, so we've got about another 20 minutes to go. So what I'll say to, to Nigel is at this point is to say that um, in this year, do you think that um, – we are talking about this before. Are you surprised to see that there's that many sections? Because section one was the one that was frowned upon. Obviously, that was the, that was yeah. the worst one, like all the things. And that was the ones that you could have got to prison. You could have been sort of like called yeah. in front of the judge for all of them things. Are you surprised at how many 4Ks are on the Section 1 list are on 4K? Yes, I am. Um, because, it, I don't know, that you, they've gone from, like, totally eradicating them, you're not allowed to watch them, to giving them, like, the best picture quality possible. Um, right. And some of them, they haven't just given them 4Ks. I mean, this is an absolute beast. Who would have thought that that would have got this treatment? No. There's a 4K in there. There's a Blu-ray in there, and there's a 3D Blu-ray in there. This oh. this gorgeous box of the original artwork, and then when you take these out, they've both got the hard card slip covers as well. I know. Who would have thought that anybody would have given any of the video nasties treatment like that? I think it's amazing. Um. And it, yes, it did shock me. And this one, I can't tell you how good this looks. I mean, 
I thought this was going to look absolutely terrible. I spit in your grave. But the US one, yeah. wow. It looks like it was filmed last week. It looks beautiful. The greenery and everything, it just it shouts out, honestly. I can't tell you how good that looks. Um, never in a million years thought they would do that. Say, like, I mean, when I first saw I Spit in a Grave, you could hardly, you could hardly make out what was on the picture because it was that bad. Yeah, washed out. exactly. There was loads of dropouts. The sun was all over the place. Now, when you when you got that, I always thought, when I was looking at these movies, I always thought that I Spit in a Grave would be, no matter how what you did to it, it would always look terrible. So yes. this is one of the best things about the 4K thing. Now, you know that, that now that's an honest transfer. It's not as if they've kind of, you know, like oversaturated it. They've overdone this. No, it, you know, it's like no. Proper, you know, representation of the movie, which is yeah. what you want at the end of the day. But, but I spit in your grave. The fact that nobody would have touched out the barge pole at one day. And that that's is one of the most notorious titles. Yeah, and look at that it That was now. one of the originals. Yeah. It's just, it baffles me, but it baffles me in a good way that we have got the 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 chance, if you want to, to go at the... Like we say, we're talking about 4Ks here tonight. Not everyone doesn't have to do that. We're not saying you have to do it. We're just marvelling at the fact that you can get this stuff on 4K. And it looks beautiful. Yeah. Do you know what the worst looking part about this is? The actual... The print on the artwork on the front, it looks a bit like faded as well as like a copy, but the film itself. Yeah. And it's three discs. You get that third disc growing up while well, it's been in your grave and you get the film on Blu-ray. It's just an amazing release. And honestly, I can't tell you how good the fork, put it this way, for me, it's one of my, well, I won't say that. I'll keep that for my video. Well, yes, don't tell us where you would It's good. Them. It's very good. Because, let's just, um, let's just say that. Well, what I'll do is, I mean, not in this video, but I think when um, when uh, Nigel's ready to do that one, I'll be, whatever video I'm making around about that time, I'll tell everybody, well, if, you, if you're not subscribed to, to, to Nigel from these videos, if you've come across not knowing about these live streams, although I do, do know that people go back to live streams and do talk about them, and I get comments on them, you know, from months ago, I'm watching. I'm really? watching these live streams. Yeah, do yeah. Wow. I just got one yesterday. Believe it or not. Wow. So it just shows you there's still life in them, and yeah, uh, which, which I, I knew anyway. People would they're a good uh, way to go, and I think they're very. The, the talk about what what we're planning to talk about, we're talking about them ten in a row, so you get like a good flavour, and then we've got yeah. like the, yeah. you know, and uh, I think all the things we've done about it are informative, you know. And definitely people still, yeah people still get a thing out of them so that's great you know and try and make and, uh, it as enjoyable as possible as well oh yeah we we'll, we'll always have fun with it you know that, that's the main thing isn't it and yeah so yes yeah, so so we'll, we'll get so you'll probably before they do like another live stream to do with nasties you'll probably have done your top 10 before that so i'll put I'll yeah. point people over to your one if you haven't gone already i haven't got a link in this video but to go to rock god 2004 um, have we not got the names up on there? <laughs> so no. All this time. Uh, what, what's going on? No. I don't know. Do it. I've, uh, I'm not going to do it here to do anything. I mean, you are on the, you know, a little thing down there. I can see you, Rock God 2004, but um, I'll have to uh, ask Scott how to do that one. See, I'm rusty. I know. He used to do it. I know. But I, I, well, I appreciate that, John. Thank you very much for sending people. Over no to my promise. humble way. No problem at all, because I know that, like I say, if you enjoy anything that I do in Nasties, you'll really enjoy Niger's. The separate stuff oh, I've done thank you. the live streams, because uh, it's great. It all sort of, you know, it's all part of one big nasty empire. Yeah. The thing is, <laughs> the thing is, like, your race, like, the way you do them is different, so hopefully people will think that, both of our videos to do with nasties, they're both worth watching because you get different aspects on each one. Well, they, they do. I mean, like I say, mine's all about the figures and stuff like that. I like to do figure sort of things. You know, I always yeah. need little things. The alternative titles for the, the video nasties. When we do a video nasties, I say this is also called that. Then we're going to a, a spiel. 
But yeah. your your separate ones are kind of just um, your sort of views on them, which I think are quite entertaining. Now, if I was to do one like that, I don't think I could do them. I don't think I'm that. It's not it's not my style anyway. So we've both got our styles. We both do it yeah. independently, yeah. and then we we'll come together and, and meet up and do what well, um you know do things do that do we hit this you know that's it yeah so anyway so hello so george we'll to, that's george um do you know george i'm not familiar with george condy i do have a george who comments on my videos so if it's not that one then no i don't i'm assuming it's the one who comments on my stuff anyway thanks george Paul says, much prefer the original I spit in your grave to the remake. Yeah, me too. I don't like the yeah. remake at all. Yeah, it's, it's just something about the original. Oh, I like the remake. Um, again, I'll say what I always say. If you're going to watch a remake, forget everything you know about the original and watch it for a standalone film. And then when you've watched it, do your comparing later. Yeah. It's it, Otherwise, you're going to hate it, most of them. I know. It's... I'm not going to get in that, in that sort of like debate whether or not like the original should never be remade. I'm not. I'm not saying that we shouldn't do. Oh that. no, it's a totally different uh, but, thing. That yeah, I've got to. I've just got to. I think what goes a lot. See, I'm not saying we know everything, but we we'll we were there at the time when this was happening, so we've got the experience of thinking that. Yeah, we lived through it. I mean, Ice, Ice Spit in Your Grave come out. The remake was there. It was a premiere of the pictures on a Blu-ray instantly. You could watch it five seconds later. And that was it. This, like, our version of Ice Spit in Your Grave was something when you started off watching it, but you couldn't watch it. That was that first thing, you got no chance of watching this. Then in the playground, everyone is saying, we have seen Ice Spit in Your Grave. And they were yeah. kind of, they were, they were embellish it to say, this happens, that happens. You go, my God. And sometimes that stuff didn't happen, but not that version that they said. And then eventually, after, well, however, however long, you would you would see it you know so it's like an event wasn't it yeah sometimes you were a bit disappointed but obviously the scene that everyone talks about is long and arduous yes. so yeah but it's got its payback as well as that and um uh, it's, amazingly it's, it's, so it means it means a little bit more when you've when you've tried say if someone said to you now say if somebody's like a young person watching this and they say right some movie comes out say like i don't know the latest Marvel film, you know, for yeah. whatever reason, like Dead, Deadpool come out and they said, "You're not gonna. Nobody can see this film." Well, it would be just that would be a go-to thing, wouldn't it? But this was happening. Of course, it was. This happened in in droves for us, didn't it? Everything yeah. was coming up. You can't say that. That's not coming in the country. You'll get prosecuted if you get. You know, when they used to like try and import someone in, if it was on the list yeah. for import. Oh, they should get confiscated. Like, Cannibal Holocaust, you couldn't import that. If you were found, you might get them knocking on the door. At the very least, you lose you lost your money, you lost the title. Um, and I think some people actually got fined for attempting to do it. Yeah, it was, it was just a huge risk, wasn't it? And sometimes you think, yeah. I don't know if I want to get in this uh, thing because and then you know, if they if they maybe knew you had this stuff, they can raid your house. You got raided. And if you had oh, a lot God, of yeah. stuff in your house, the take the whole lot. You know, I've you seen documentaries where people house. have had their entire collections taken and their recording equipment. Yeah. Took the loss. So you've got nothing. I mean, and it's you never get back. The extreme, but um, to have lived through it, it I think we're, we appreciate, not saying just we, but in general, I think people in, uh, appreciate these with a little bit more of a passion. If that can be a, a, yeah. a word that you I think can't... also as well, I think it might sound a little bit um a little bit gay to some people, but I think we respect them more as well. Yeah. And I think it's the fact we, we now appreciate we can get these films when we couldn't. I even remember, I can't remember the titles, but I remember going in on more than one occasion for different films without knowing. And I've gone to the counter and said, Have you got this? And they've said to me, Oh, it's banned, you can't have it anymore. I'm like, You're joking, aren't you? That's been banned. I remember it. I can't remember what the film was, but I remember being told banned, banned. And then it started more and more. I was like, You're joking. We're not going to be able to watch anything at this rate. 
So I think we appreciate that... these things more and respect them more because, and especially when you get such a good release like that, like the picture quality on that and the Frankenstein one as well. You're just yeah, like, yeah. yeah. You, you respect it. them even more, I think, when it looks good. Yeah. No, I, I think that's it's a valid point to say that um, that you've got a different view on these movies because yeah. to, to literally have something in your hand like this after knowing you hadn't got a hope in hell of getting it, yeah, is it, it made, means a bit more to you, doesn't it? To see yeah, it, it does. You know, it's never going to, I know we're talking about maybe. They would never come back and, and ban these again. You could never get them taken out of your house. Not nothing like that. No. Never go about that. But it, it does. I mean, make it. This is the American impulse in this country. This is still cut to this day. Yeah. But this is the fully uncut version. But you can import it over, knowing you're not going to get fined or took to court or anything like that. And I don't know well, about you, John, point. but when you watch these films, does it make you think back? To the 80s yeah. when they were originally out thinking, wow, I'm watching a video nasty. I can Even to this like, day, it's still does it now to me. Well, what I do is, I know for a fact, as soon as even I'm looking at it, I'm thinking about it now. When I have when I have this, when I put this on, I immediately think of when I was I bought a copy of um what was it called? Fangoria. You remember yes. Fangoria? And I've got a copy yeah. of that and I thought, right. Um, what what's in here, and you'll get all these like excellent pictures, and you would know half the time at that point you'd never see these movies, and it yeah. had it had in there, and it might be just me thinking, you know, it said it had a picture of the the beyond, and it had it said it said it was a double X. Now I don't that's just me, mate. I could have just be imagining that, but I thought double X. What does that mean? And it had the picture of you know the girl and when she gets a, the top of her head shot off. Which is amazing, you know. She's in the uh, mortuary at the end. Oh God, yes, I forgot about that bit. Wow! Shoot the top of her head off. What a yeah. But the picture of that, the black and white picture, you know, when it like the whole scalp's off and the eyeballs just gone, there. yeah. And it's it's amazing. And I saw that picture. and I thought, from that day, I thought I've got to see that. And I used to look at this picture and show me, mates, have you seen this? That the special effects and I had this ratty, you know, Fangoria so puppy school bag in the Adidas bag, which probably had a half a ton of pop spilled in the bottom of it and that and loads of crisps all over it and it was manky and uh but when i think of that i think of that thing and i'm drawn back to that time and i think when you do look at these ones if you've got like some kind of story with it it's like a time capsule you can you can yep. enjoy the movie as well as go and um as get your that nostalgia kick when i put the burning on now it takes me right back to 1983 when I first seen it. And I was laid on the couch. My dad was in his chair and we were watching it on the telly and it was absolutely hoying it down outside. Yeah. Bouncing. And I knew full well that same night my sister was picking me up because we were going to the lakes um, yeah. for, for the weekend. Um, and they said, we're not going tonight now. Because the, the weather's bad, we're going to go tomorrow morning instead. So when I got there, my two nephews, like one's a year younger than me, one's a year and a half older, um, they said, oh, we've got a film out, and they've got Friday the 13th part, too, and I'm not watching it. Oh, well, you got to watch it. And I I saw The Burning and Friday the 13th part, too. Same day, same day it was a Friday night. Um, so I watched one at home and one at my sister's. It doesn't really do that with part two, but when I watch The Burning, I always think back. To the first time I saw it with my dad, yeah. weird in 1983. Yeah. But it's almost like you can actually, um, if someone said to you, like, I don't know, think about something you didn't really, you weren't invested in. Say, remember the first time you had a, had a nutty bar in the 70s? And you go, nah, not, not really. I should like them, but I, I can't remember anything about it. But someone said to you, when's the first time you were so certain so film and what were you doing? You can probably say, I'll tell you exactly what I was doing. You know, yeah. I remember when we went, the first time I saw the burning, believe it or not, was when we went in, in school. I've talked about this before. The teacher on a Friday afternoon, he said to us, us lot, he says, go to, go to the shop and go and get a video out. And you can watch that for the second period in chemistry. So we went, right. So it went in and somebody says, I'm getting that out there. 
the burning. I says, what's and that's what they got. Got the, got the got the got the Evil Dead. We got loads of stuff out. So we got the burning out. Now we put that on. Now I remember watching it, and we were cheering in it. Fully uncut as well. And the, you know the fingers and everything that was in it. The lasses were screaming. The teacher had a he had this sort of like uh, book, and every time there was a little bit of ooh la la on the screen, he's putting the book over there. He's going across, and we're going, hey man, get the book away in that. But these days he would have been struck off. We would have been traumatized. Oh, he would, well, yeah. Traumatized. He may well have done time um, with the the fella who did nightmare in a damaged brain. Yeah, but it was a school it teacher. Let the thing. kids watch this stuff. This is what they were fighting against. But the, the 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 weird thing about that was they weren't banned at the time, so it was just no. Like, so what? And it was it was the the place where. I went, so when you the saw the burning, was, like, was it the bit where when he gets to the prostitute and you see the knife go in and then twisting round just all that? Well, as far as I know, all I can remember from it was the the shears. That's all I can remember, and that was in it. Um, I'm pretty sure that was in the uncut the, in, in the cut version as well, though the fingers. Right, oh, right. It seems because I remember seemed, having this conversation me. with somebody, and they were saying to me, "Oh, yeah, when he stabs that woman and he twists." I went, "Well, that doesn't happen in the version I've seen. That doesn't happen." Well, they did in mine. I said, "Doesn't?" I said, "You see the knife go in, and then she goes like back out the window or something like that." I went, "No, you see all this." And he said another bit. I went, "Well, no, I didn't say that. It was only years later that I found out. Yeah, there was two versions, and if you if you've got the cut version, like the the one I saw." It's the one with the date stamp on. Looks like a library stamp. Aye. See, I, I don't know because when we went to get it, because it's like a group we went to get it and we picked it up, so we picked Evil Dead up as well, like on another time. Um, when you when we brought it back, we put it in. Um, like I say, it was it was beaten in nineteen eighty three, so it was definitely before the the ban was in because we yeah. weren't we didn't do that that thing in eighty four. Because in eighty four in a different class, so I yeah. know that he wasn't a teacher for chemistry in, in that in eighty four. It was definitely eighty three. Couldn't have been eighty two. It, it, it was eighty four when they started officially getting yeah. them banned. They were they were getting they whipped off the shelf, left, right, and centre. And, and they were all there, uh, the whole lot, because we were pointing and going, "Look, why not that one?" And uh, the lasses used to come with us, and they were talking about, "Oh, let's get this out of all like like sort of Disney stuff," and we just went there. Uh, no How about no? And we used to give the, the last were what, 50 pence or something, whatever it was. We used to go running back. And the teachers go, What you got? And we go, Oh, evil dead. What's that? It's a comedy. And just put it in. He's like, the, Honestly, well, it lasts, isn't that? But just treat get we're not dying. And we were like, uh, No, but we, it was just like a great laugh. But we couldn't believe the stuff that was on these. Because usually, I don't think I'd seen the evil dead or and the burning before. I saw it on there, you see. So I was seeing this for the first time. I was going, my God, I understand why the lasses are crying. And the teacher's got his book up. No, you can't see that. I did see the Evil Dead uncut. Um, that absolutely blew me away when I saw that. Oh, and then oh, when when they released it cut, I went and bought the video. And like when I seen the bits that were cut, I was like, what the hell did the bother even me. release on this far? The tree, gone. Yeah. Some of the some of the extra garb, it's like gone. I don't, why don't you just not bother? Yeah, no. what a rip off! What a rip off! Yeah, it was. And the thing was as well because it was in the daytime. They used to draw the curtains, you know, the big sort of black curtains used to put up because obviously sometimes would have like uh, slideshows or whatever. Yeah, so it was pitch black as well, which was brilliant. The lasses course, screaming. I'm surprised somebody would come in and go, What the hell is going on in here? Are you murdering somebody? Where you would have like bits of paper, you know, and you wrap, roll them up, and lasses were sitting there and you touch them on the neck, you know, like going and jump like that. So, uh, that was great. It's and that re that reminds me that so you have the blast of watching the burning, which is just exceptional, and you're having that nostalgia trip again, yeah. and you're kind of reliving it. So, and it, it's a thing that I don't get with many other movies. Really, you know the nasties yeah, have a I lot agree. of yeah. callbacks for me. Yeah, you know, transported to a different time, different, Just <laughs> different time. <laughs> anyway, this, so we're this. coming up to two hours. Uh, I haven't got it. 
but that's a good one. I know that the folk, the Blu-ray looks exceptional. The um, yeah, I, it's it's a bit grainy, but even so, it's definitely um, it's I like that film though. It's not one of the best ones, like transfer wise. Um, it's worth getting. The only thing is, you don't get the video nasty artwork reverse. It's a shame. Yeah. So I think for that reason, I will probably keep my 88 Blu-ray as well. I normally would have got rid of it, but I'm going to keep that one. Well, I remember when you were talking about on your video, you were showing it said that you were showing the little bits, and there's a little actual bit of the the uh, in the shards of glass. You can see yeah. the video nasty cover in there. And you were saying that that's it there, but you would preferred the option to have the video nasty. Um, is that there? there? And then Which yeah, is great, isn't it? there it is there. That's the actual UK a bit, but that's not a photograph. That's like that's a painting of it that somebody's done. It's a good one. Don't get me yeah. wrong. Oh, uh, yes, sir. You're right. Yeah. It's but I would rather have that full with the boogeyman in yeah. red. Yeah. I don't know why they went with purple and green because it's totally relevant. It's a bit odd. So, <clears throat> so speaking of video nasties, as we are, uh, I remember when John Hall was over here, because obviously, me, you, John Hall, Laura, and Simba, we went to the video nasties, and that was such a blast. That what and a day that was! Yeah, we're talking about. I know you've sent over me some loads of footage, and John says, "Are you going to do the video nast? Are you going to do that video on the video nasties?" Says I. I said, "I've got a bit of a plan," and I says, "Actually, if I'm honest, you can help me out." So the video is going to come out with all the bits and bobs. We're going to go and retro talk about it, but um, I put a bit of a spin on it with John Hall, um, to sort of talk about that because that, that video nasty's um exhibition was was something else wasn't it to see yeah it's like, it was you know when we're standing looking at them shelves it was like looking at a video shop you were back in a video oh. shop day yeah mental it was one of the um, most nostalgic trips i've ever had me like and it was absolutely fantastic to meet john what a lovely lovely fella he was um John Hall, I he's see. John. Yeah, he's, he was such a lovely fan. I'd love to meet him again. Actually, I'd really still had a couple of good good chats with him. He's such a nice fella. Um, he's a good lad. But yeah, we were picking these things up. Um, and they had, they had like the original Evil Dead there, didn't they? The, the rental, and you could you could actually pick them up and have a look. They weren't yeah. like behind glass cage, and you could actually pick these things up and have a good look at them. It was amazing. What he had, he had, you know, your hands on them like the shining. You had the shine, didn't you? Yeah, the, shining, the, the, uh, the rental one, yeah. Aye. So Maybe, it wasn't like yeah. all video nasties. They did have some like sort of pre certificate horror films as well that weren't on the list. But it was just nice to see all in the in the big padded covers they used to come in the big box ones. Yeah. No, you're right. Um, it, was just, it was such a so brilliant that day that was. With uh, with John Hall's help, so what what we were saying was, because he's actually spoke, you know, to the fellow who did it, that professor. Oh yeah, he's, he's Johnny. He's called Johnny Walker, I think. What a name! He's uh, he's spoken to him on an email, and he said to him, "Will you get another one going on?" And he says, "I'll I'll think I'll try. I'll think about it." So if it does, the note of people on here, if it does come back again, because at the first time, I think on the first day he had this like. Um, live live chat thing with the audience which we never got to see i don't mm -hmm. think john hall did either but we'll maybe even try to get into that and also what i would say is though if anybody was thinking about it it would be amazing to get a group who were going there and definitely you know, to make a thing of it because it's it was fantastic and i mean it, apparently that wasn't all the stuff was it no so, it was his own personal stuff and it wasn't everything. Apparently, this guy has got absolutely shed loads on, I shall say. See what I did there? Um, nice one. But, I mean, even if it meant us going a couple of days as well, I'd be up for that. If, the, if there's like a talk one day and different stuff, I'd come back up, definitely. Oh, yeah. I think, uh, no, think Sammy G would probably be up for that as well. Did Sammy G go to that one, or was he not? Uh, did he miss that one? He went with Ryan, I think. Right, okay. But there was I'm a group sure of us going. The more the merrier. merrier. Yeah. Right. Well, anyway, what we'll say is, as much as I don't want to do this, because um, 
it's I've got to end the stream at this point because obviously Deborah's coming in. We're going to have something to eat now before it gets too late. But I want to thank everybody who's turned up for this. We've got some. We've got sixty-five people. They did go back to sixty-eight though. Wow. So we're, we're done good. We're done good. And there's Mikey. Oh, right, Mikey. hello, Mikey, buddy. Just going to want to be in the start. Oh, never mind. There'll be more. Yeah. So, um, anyway, so Nigel, I want to thank you once again for. I mean, I didn't, I got in touch with you quite, you know, like quite recently, didn't you? And you, you yes. Over it, so, thanks for, thanks for coming along. And oh, get thank you very much for having me back on. I've had an absolute blast. blast. Well, we're going to have this one very soon again. I'll leave Excellent a link down stuff. in the description when this video is ending to like Nigel's channel. And do get over and watch his, his dedicated live stream, it's, it, your video nasty stuff. It's absolutely brilliant. And also, if you want to see more live streams of the nasties, there's plenty of us doing this way back when, going through yeah. section one. I think we got, did we do one on section two or was the two on section two? It was either one or two. I can't remember which it was. Um, I would know. Something tell me we only did the one on section two. Right. But I think I, I think know about the last film we did, which I can't remember. But the, we did start it, definitely started it. No, I think you're right. Um, and also um, about my yeah. videos, if anybody's interested in watching them, I've, I've put all my video nasty stuff in a playlist, so they're easier to find. Can I drop a playlist into my comments? I don't know if you can do that. Can you do that? I don't think you can, no, but if, if they go over to the channel and go to the main thing and you'll see playlists, the, there's a video nasty one there. I've even put in the fact, you remember when I did the all the, the section one covers to the damn song nasty, I've even put that in there. That was good, actually. I like that one. I think that's one of the first. It was, it was worth people. getting copyrighted on it. No Did you get a copyright thing on that or not? Yeah, you, the, also, also it is if 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 you ever get to the stage where you're earning money, the ones that are copyrighted, you won't get anything on them. That's all that happens. When I've, I've, had, I've had a few on the Iron Maiden ones around. as well, but yeah, I don't care. I like the video of you uh, doing, you playing the playing the song along, actually. How long be that name? Was your forearm burning on that one? Was your forearm um, burning on it? Because a lot of not so much that arm. I mean, it was that. It's the yeah, I know. Because I'm watching it, I'm thinking that would kill me. That and then and anybody who doesn't believe me, I've I've, I've proved it. Um, I do exactly the same, Steve Harris. I only play with the two fingers, not three. And when I finish, you can actually see the the calluses on the two fingers, and there's nothing on that one. Because people don't believe me, think when it when it's like the gallop, the did 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 the thing. I'm going did 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 did. I'm not I'm going did 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 did. It's two. Same as Steve I Harris. I know, I know. I mean, I don't do gallops at all. Don't play with me fingers. Play with a plec. That's bad enough. We can't gallop with your plec. That that's uh, you know widely known. But I'm looking at it and I'm thinking that my tendons would have been on fire doing that. <laughs> I tell you, when it gets me, do you know when it's a bass chord, which there is a few in. I love be that name and it gets the quite a bit duh, duh, when it, the, that, that's a bass chord that I'm like after a while. I don't know how he does it and he's in his sixties and he still does a lot of bass chords now. I'm thinking, please behave. Now what I learned that it hurts. Actually, I will just put this as a um there was a comment on there that that came up. If if it's there. It's from Finley. Wellburn, how do I become a channel member? Well, there you actually, go. if you if you want to, I, I think you just click on the thing and just become a channel member to it. Now, what I will say to you, if if you want to, if you now you never hear me swear, I'm not a swearer on my videos because I said I don't want to swear in front of like for me family members and all that, which they probably don't watch, but you know it's one of the things. You know, I'm not a swearer. I beg like to differ. Nigel is very uh, upset when I swear as well because he's a very uh, God-fearing man that doesn't believe in anything like that. You know, Absolutely he's, he's not. Such, such a it's gentleman. Disgusting. Go to but church. If you, ever want to hear me, if you ever want to hear me swearing, get over to them channel them them channel member things because I tell you what, they are just I have such a blast doing them because you can just say and do whatever you want on there. It's not offensive. It's just me just giving it six note. Geordie slang. So there you go. If you want to do it, I think you just click on the thing. I, I don't know how you do it, but I think you just click on then. There's plenty of stuff on there. I think there's about 30 videos on there. The various stuff. Wow. Anyway, so there you go. 
So thanks once again. Really, really enjoyed this. Thanks to Nigel. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant as always. Thank you, mate. I've really enjoyed it. It's been a great it's been a great do, time. Do get really over nice. to his <laughs> point over there. Do get yeah, do get over there. And we will see you very soon on another um video nasty live stream. Maybe another 4K one. If not, we'll go back to the section two section two or two or three. Definitely be one of them. Okay. So thanks thanks once again and we'll see you next time. Cheers, Peace. everyone. See you later. Okay. Thanks. Thanks you. Thanks you. Thanks you.